Hey, royalty. Hey, empress. Hey, empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. First things first, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. It helps grow the channel. I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. It's at Mecca Dreams. Don't get scammed. You can only book a reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, OG, please come down and protect me. As I channel this different energy, please and thank you. And please come down and protect and cover the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? and north node what does aquarius need to know please and thank you aquarius okay simply put you're very wise okay and it's like a lot of people may not even give you credit for how wise you are how much wisdom you hold you could be young very young okay i mean like late 20s or even like mid 20s early 20s and you're just very wise for your age okay it's like you hold a lot of wisdom within you. And there's someone that is around you. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to let the mic get messed up. There's someone around you or there's someone here that you could be connecting to at this time that's emotionally unstable. They're emotionally unavailable. Okay? They're, they're not open to giving you what you need, what you want, what you deserve out of love, out of a relationship, out of life. And this is someone here that is lying on your name. They're lying on your name. They're lying to you. They're lying about you. They're throwing you under the bus. Okay? It's like, uh -uh. yeah. You also could be, like, really questioning whether or not you should work with certain individuals in regards to business because all money is not good money. You could be the wise one out the bunch, okay? Or it's like your intuition is flaring. You could be seeing red flags or warning signs in regards to certain people, two, three, four, as I'm saying this. Okay, and it could be really making you, you know, question whether or not you want to continue to work in some type of organization, work with some type of group, work with some type of collaboration, networking, some type of financial opportunity that came presented to you. Father God is saying all money is not good money. Be, be, be very, you know, trust your discernment, trust your intuition. And if you do, you'll have spiritual rewards coming in because of this. Okay, as above, so below. If you level up spiritually, oh my goodness, do you know how much abundance you'll have on this earthly realm? Remember, Father God is, Father God's bank is bigger than any bank on this earth. You need to understand that. Okay, so when he blesses you or when he calls you to do something, remember, this is what I try to tell everybody that, that just wants to listen. Father God doesn't need us. <laughs> we need him. Okay, three, three, three. <laughs> I was like, we don't need we we need him. So when he calls us to do something, you could you need to consider it to be an honor. It's because he wants to bless you. Three, four, five, as I'm saying this, he wants to bless you, he wants to give you something. Okay, it's because he wants to provide you with something that he knows your heart has been longing for, has been wanting, has been has been desiring. Okay. So it's like when you turn away from his calling, it's like if you want to turn away from it, okay. You know, you have to put it into perspective, okay. Someone here you're connecting to is emotionally unstable. They're emotionally unavailable, all right. This is, mm -mm, and it's time to break up with this person. It's time to leave this person alone. All the backstabbing things that this person is doing to you is coming back towards them. No, I'm scared. It's coming back towards them. It's going to hit them like a brick. Who, buddy? This is someone that's been lying on your name. Mm. And I cannot make it up. They're getting ready to lose their mind because of it. It's like everything that they're saying to you, Father God has been listening and watching. And it's like, okay, everything that you want for them is going to happen to you. Everything that you're saying about them is, is, is people are going to start saying about you. So get ready for it. I hope, you, I hope you're just as strong as Aquarius, <laughs> as my child. Like, ooh, yeah, someone, I cannot make it up. Someone's getting ready to know how to behave. They're getting ready to learn, okay, who they're dealing with, who they're messing with, who they needed to stay away from, who they needed to keep who they needed to keep their name out, out their mouth. That, that's just what it was. 
okay? Someone here could have been under drugs and alcohol and sex, so they're under devil energy, okay? They're, they're under some, the illusion of the devil, making them think that they're getting blessings, I, but they're not. Mm. They're about to lose it all. Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing. Yeah, it's time for you to take a trip or a vacation. It's time for you to get away. Someone here is getting ready to go through a lot of harsh karma as well. You could be seeing it. Ooh, ooh. Okay. They're also getting, <laughs> someone is also getting ready to, some people or someone has been saying, since when did you come up? Since when did you have a level up? Okay. Again, these people are losing their mind. And someone here you're connecting to is losing their mind. Yeah, this is someone that's left on you. And they're only coming back towards you to see if this spell book that they did or that they paid to be done on you is working. Sad. Yeah, we have here, I can't make it up, lying on your name. Somebody's been lying on your name. So it's like your ancestors are like, we about to expose who this person is. They don't want this person in your energy anymore. They don't, they don't like this individual. Tell me more for Aquarius. It's like somebody here wants you to stay with them. Some, they could be an influencer in some type of way. Their hair is falling out. Okay, yes. <laughs> So someone here, their, their looks are depreciating. Their health is depreciating. Okay, it could be happening within their, with, with their health. This is a mama's boy. Someone here or a mama's girl. Someone here is very, very codependent on their parents. They need their mama or their, 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 their dad for every little thing. They cannot wipe their behind without their parents. They always crying, always calling. They always need mommy. They always need daddy. Okay, it's like spirit is, is giving you thy certain tips and clues to, to see who this person is in, in your life because you know, for everyone, it's different. For someone here, definitely, you need to tell them no, you need to reject this person. Okay, you need to tell them no, it is just a no, you're not doing it no more, you're not giving to them, you don't want to help them no more. They're doing spells on you, they're doing some type of work on you to make you conform to them or listen to them or help them. But this is really someone that's masking their energy and they're losing their mind behind the scenes. So they could put on a nice mask or a nice front, but in their head, they go and cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, oh my goodness. Yeah, this somebody here is a wounded healer. This could be you. It's time for you to heal yourself. You constantly are healing others and it could be wounding you in different ways. This is the truth. This is the truth. It's like the Ace of Swords in, in the tarot deck that I must have pulled. <clears throat> Somebody throw shock was back and they don't want me to say this. They will also be trying to keep you quiet about certain things that you need to speak up on. Okay, I'm seeing here you speak the truth. You are you speak the truth. You are the truth. You know the truth. You're getting ready to receive the truth. You're getting ready to get the truth. You're getting ready to get the truth and clarity that you need. Okay. It's also it has to do with you trusting your intuition. You have you using your discernment. You using the spiritual gifts and talents that God instilled in you instead of being scared of it using it god put it in you for a reason what you mean it's like it's like saying oh, okay you have discernment and you have intuition but you're not going to use that to judge people you need to use that to judge people you need to judge people to figure out are they aligned with you spiritually mentally emotionally what do you mean god gave you certain tools not to be scared of it but to use it for your protection Okay, the devil fell to earth. This is the, the devil fell to earth where we are right now. The devil and his minions and his angels, his workers. What do you mean? The people that went up against Father God. It's time for, look at this. I cannot, I cannot make it up. It's time for you to shine bright. It's time for you to shine. Your ancestors are working through you. Trees are all about wisdom, strength, courage. Okay, this is divine insight coming in for you. Look at this, celestial alignment. You're getting ready to get into alignment with your calling, with the divine, with your angels, with your ancestors, with your spirit guides, with, with the divine beings around you, constantly helping you and protecting you and guiding you and keeping you safe. It's time for some type of resistance that is needed. Okay, it's time for you to, to, to have some type, somebody here wants a stronghold on you. Okay, and your ancestors are like, it's time to break that. It's time to let it go. It's time to break this chain. It's time to break whatever this person's trying to do. It's trying, yeah, it's time to walk away 
So you could choose to be independent, self-sufficient, focusing on you. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have one of this in your birth chart. You need to walk away. Somebody here wants you to also to walk away from your, append your independence. Feeling like you could do it by yourself. Feeling like you could stand on your own two feet and you can. Ten of one as I'm saying this. You literally can. You just do it. Father God is trying to bless you immensely uh, in the most abundant and miraculous ways. Okay, with the nine of pentacles, this is someone here that's only one pentacle away from the ten of pentacles. You're doing it by yourself, okay? You're, you're getting ready to have a home, a relationship, some type of strong type of foundation that's meant to come to you, Aquarius. But it's all about you listening, you speaking, you speaking your truth and you being in your truth. Look at the card that popped out, y'all. Look at the card that popped out. I ain't going to say this again. I ain't going to say, I, I ain't going to, I ain't going to say y'all again. I ain't going to tell you again who you are. I ain't going to tell you again, Empress or Emperor. I ain't going to tell you again. Okay, your ancestors and your angels, they're getting on you. And they work, they, they speak it through me because they, they sick of this. <laughs> they like, get it together. Know who you are. Know how powerful you are. Okay? You hold God's strength. God is giving you the strength of him in you. Okay, the empress is somebody or the emperor is somebody that got the willpower. Okay, they work for Father God. 11, 11 on the clock as I was saying that. Okay, they work for God's kingdom. They bring in God's divine order to this earthly realm. Okay, but the empress here, you are, you, you're living a very abundant, prosperous, luxurious, blessed, highly favored life. What you touch, what you touch turns to gold. Literally, you're, you're very fertile, male or female. Okay, what you touch is, is going to expand. It's going to grow. It's going to grow into blessings, money, buku amounts of money, a lot of wealth. Okay, you're getting ready to hit the jackpot if you haven't already with the Empress popping out here. This is a lot of celebrations coming in with the Three of Cups. You could be drinking, smoking, partying, dancing, clubbing, going out, just celebrating. Father God is ready to bless you, but it's time for you to, to live and be in your truth. It's time for you to shine bright. Somebody here trying to have resistance and trying to have control over you. And Father God is saying, know who you are. Okay, these people are stressing out. They could have wanted to keep you in a place of confusion. Okay, seven of cups. Okay, you need to block it. Seven of wands. Look at you with this queen of pentacles. Okay, look at you, Aquarius. Look at you. You could have a business or you're getting ready to start some type of empire or business and you're going to be very very financially secure very financially abundant very prosperous okay it's like god's light is going to be shining within you and all around you something is coming to an end taurus virgo capricorn energy is here libra is here scorpio is here as well i'm seeing here you need to block somebody and they know it they're stressing out because they know once you block them you're going to level up to this boss energy they know it. Somebody has been trying to cause drama and conflict because you rejected them. Okay, you could have left them out in the cold with the four of pentacles. You, you called it quits with that death card. It's a major transformation, a major change taking place within your life. But people are trying to cause drama and conflict for you. It could be a whole group of people trying to fight, trying to fight you, trying to go up against you. Yeah, people are have been diligently trying to work eight of pentacles on trying to cause you the ten of swords, endings, pain, trauma. Okay, uh, not having emotional fulfillment, but you've been doing right. Okay, God saw it all. You have good karma coming in. Karmic justice will be served. You could be dealing with a legal matter at this time, some type of court issue with the justice card. People were trying to either trying to end you. They could even be trying to put you in some type of court situation here, some type of legal matter. Okay, somebody was trying to lock you up with the Ten of Swords and the Justice card with the Five of Wands, trying to put you in conflict. Look at Father God coming through, Taurus energy. Father God is like, no, it's time for you to get back to your morals, values, beliefs, back to praying. This could have been a major institution that was trying to do this, okay? Trying to end you in some type of way, trying to put endings to your work or, or your fulfillment. They were trying to hold you back with the Four of Pentacles. They wanted a stronghold, some type of attachment to you. But you have a brand new start that's coming in for you, Aquarius, that you have been manifesting. And that is your good judgment. That's Father God's judgment within your life. Okay, for you to be able to manifest, you have all the tools that you need to be able to, to break free of these chains. Okay, to be able to bring in the good karma and blessings and to be able to block out, to stand your ground in regards to blocking out people that want to have control over you, your money, your finances, your resources, something about the city, okay, with these buildings. You can live in the city, okay? What's this ten of swords? Something is coming to an end here. Something is over with, 
Somebody here done something for the last time. It's time for you to have true love coming. Okay, with the Ace of Cups, it's, try, it's time for you to have fulfillment, blessings, your cup overflow, your cup feeling like it's being poured into and overflowing. Okay, this is new opportunities that you're going to love in regards to career. This is a new blessing of love, a new connection coming in towards you because you're choosing yourself. Once you choose you, everything that's meant for you will choose you too. If you're choosing things that are not aligned with you, guess what? Everything that's not aligned with you is going to be choosing you. Everything of the dark energy, everything of, of the enemy will be choosing you. But if you choose God, if you choose you, because you are God's child, empress or emperor, if you choose you, everything that's meant and aligned with you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually will choose you too. It's all about a choice. This is fulfillment coming in with this Ace of Cups. After a really bad and traumatic ending, somebody here was also trying to put an ending to your new love coming in. They wanted to end this, but it's not going to happen because you're choosing you. Yeah, it's a choice. I cannot make it up. Everything's about choices. It's about to be a fated event that takes place. Scorpio, Aquarius, your energy, Leo is here. Taurus is here. Somebody is burdened. They're going to be in a mental entrapment. They could even be going to jail. The eight of swords to the ten of wands. Somebody here has, is, is completely at the max amount of burdens. They are getting ready to topple over. And they're not only just in constant burdens and feeling like they're in a constant war or fight with their responsibilities, tasks, or people around them. There's also paranoia, anxiety, mental stress, mental conflict, and being able to not free themselves. Someone has put themselves in a web that they cannot get out of. Ten, ten. Ten, ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords that they cannot get out of, and they did this to themselves with the Nine of Swords. This person is having sleepless nights or up at night. They're being haunted by what they were trying to do to you because you have nothing but good karma coming in. Favor, blessings, and abundance. God is opening doors for you. The, the tables have turned. Somebody here thought that they were always going to be at the top. They're not at the top anymore. You are. You're at the top of the wheel. You have nothing but good karma and favor coming in. Get ready for it. I hope this helped you. <laughs> and if it did, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'm Sanayana Benz of Peace, Heaven Light, always, and I will be seeing y'all on the next video.